the need of command vehicles for tactical control of a Panzer regiment was first realized in 1935. The Kleiner Panzerbefehlswagen or Light Armored Command Vehicle was the German Army's first purpose-built armored command vehicle designed to provide a tank unit commander with mobility and communications on the battlefield. It is commonly referred to as a command tank, but as it is without a turret or offensive armament and is built on the chassis of the Panzer I light tank, it does not retain the capabilities or role of a tank. It was soon realized, however, that more space was required than it was provided by the Kleiner Panzerbefehlswagen. This resulted in the adaptation of the Panzer III design for the large armored command vehicle. The external appearance was maintained as closely as possible to that of the Panzer III tank so that the command vehicle would not immediately attract enemy fire. But the large frame antenna on the rear deck readily distinguished this vehicle from the standard Panzer III tanks. The Panzerbefehlswagen III Ausführung K or K version was the last in the series of command tanks based on the Panzer III tank. The K version was virtually identical to the standard Panzer III, but some of the ammunition was removed to make way for the new radio sets. The K version finally saw the replacement of the distinctive frame antenna with a more standard star antenna. Above the engine compartment, removing the most obvious visual difference between the command tanks and the standard Panzer III tanks. An order for 200 K version tanks had been placed in October of 1941, but production was twice delayed. So the command tank appeared on the front in early 1943 and the K version remained in frontline service long after the Panzer III tank itself had been withdrawn. When the command versions of the Tiger tank and the Panther tank appeared, they also used this star antenna. The star antenna could transmit at 30 watts and therefore needed extra insulation as well as a rubber base of a normal antenna, it stood on a ceramic insulator in a metal cylinder. This was countersunk into the hull roof of the Tiger tank. On the Panther command tanks, two different versions were used. From the summer of 1943 until June of 1944, the same basic set was used as on the Tiger tank with special mounting and stowage brackets for the Panther. The extension rod was used to raise the antenna to a height of about 17 feet. This was attached to the inside on the right rear stowage bin by a simple cup and clamp. The extension rods, when not in use, were stowed in a rack under the cleaning rod canister. The porcelain adapter was enclosed inside the armored base and cannot be seen. In June of 1944, however, the new star antenna was fitted to all Panther command tanks. This new design was mounted directly onto the antenna base and the extension rods acted as a part of the antenna and no longer needed the antenna cable and porcelain insulator at the top of the rods. The star antenna was erected using up to six 0.7 meter extension rods to a height of about 19 feet. 
These mounted directly onto the flexible antenna base. This was only used when the tank was in a static location. A single extension rod could be used with the antenna while moving. The stowage of the extension rods is not known, however they are short enough to be stowed in one of the rare bins. Both sets were used until the end of the war on the Panther command tanks and even on the King Tiger command tanks.